This is the last in a four-part video series on FastCase, a database available to Jenkins members 24-7 from their desktops at home or in the office. In this video, we're going to explore viewing cases and the authority check feature. Starting from a typical FastCase results page, I'm clicking the first hit, and you can see that's California v. Greenwood. And though the case is displaying, we haven't lost the results page because the list of hits or results is available on the left-hand side, and we can navigate through them using the slider bar, or in the upper right-hand corner, click on Next Case or Previous Case to navigate back and forth. Now, the case displays with the search terms highlighted. They're all highlighted in the same color, unlike, say, the Google Cache Copy, which gives each search term its own color. But you can see where they are uh, clumped together in paragraphs, and you can determine where you want to begin reading by the color coding of, of the hits. Now, you can also uh, navigate quickly to your next search term by using the appropriate link there at the top of the page. Click on Next Term, and you can see Fourth Amendment's highlighted next term again, fourth amendment, and so forth. Now this may be a little confusing because it says highlight all the search terms, but when you click on next term, it defaults to the first one in the list because for fourth amendment was our first search term, fourth amendment and trash or garbage. So if you want a different term, you have to highlight it from the list and then click on next term and you'll see now in this case trash pops up all the time. So it, it, it's a little bit of a disconnect there, but just remember that when it says highlight all the search terms, that's the highlighting feature, but if you want to jump down and navigate, you have to select the term that you want, otherwise it'll default to the first one in your query. Okay, now other things to do on the page. You can jump to the most relevant paragraph by using that link there, and this is the one that you'll see on the results page if you if you go up to results and say show me the most relevant paragraph. This is the complete most relevant paragraph, not just the first four lines. And you can see whether this will help you uh, determine whether this case is useful to you. Now, if you want to go back to the the case as you first saw it, you just highlight uh, the first paragraph, and now we've reset the case to the way it displayed when we clicked on it from the results page. Now. Other options. We, we looked at the print queue in the third video, so we're not going to do that in this video, but we will look at the option to s email yourself the case. Now, I won't go into a lot of detail for this because it's pretty straightforward and you've probably done this with other systems, but you're able to send yourself the, the text of the case if you want to. I'm not going to go beyond this screen, I'm just going to leave it at that. I do want to spend some time talking about authority check. Authority check is a way to see whether this case is good law or bad law. Uh, the other services like Lexis and Westlaw use uh, Shepherds and Keysight. Now there is no Shepherds and Keysight in FastCase. They'll be glad to send you to Shepherds or Keysight and you'll be charged an additional fee to shepherdize, say, shepherdize the case. But FastCase has something called authority check. And you can look at the, s the cases that cite the case that you're viewing and see what they're saying about it. And you have the option of looking at all of the cases in the FastCase database that, that cite your case, or just those that you retrieved via your search. And in this case, I selected the 248 cases that we retrieved in our search for Fourth Amendment and trash or garbage that cite California v. Greenwood. And I can look at just a few of them, or I can look at the complete list. They also have a timeline feature, similar to the results page that we looked at in video three, that allows you to visually uh, identify cases of interest to yourself. And you may remember from that video, there was an X and a Y axis, which gave you specific uh, choices, and then also the size of the circles um, made a difference as well. In this case, the x-axis is the court or the jurisdiction. The, the, I'm sorry, the y-axis is the court or the jurisdiction. The x-axis is, again, the date to see which is more, um, more current cases than the other. And then the size of the circle shows you um, the, the importance of the case in terms of the number of sites. So, I'm going to minimize that and go back to the case. This is a, a quick review of what you can do with cases in FastCase. And hopefully, if you've stayed with us through this four-part series, you are now able to, to navigate through FastCase and begin to use this very valuable system to help you find cases of interest and do legal research.